وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرِ And he does not want difficulty for you. And he doesn't want difficulty on you. بِكُمْ actually kind of means that the ba doesn't just mean for. It just means he doesn't want difficulty for you, for you to experience difficulty. Um, the first thing here is something kind of rhetorical. When I say to you, I want things to be easy for you. And then I add, and I don't want things to be hard for you. Well, you kind of didn't have to say that. You could just say, I just want things to be easy for you, and that's enough. But Allah said both. He said he wants things to be easy for all of you. And then he says he doesn't want things to be difficult for any of you. Why, why say both? The first thing is, when you say you want things to be easy, you're speaking in a positive sense. When you say you don't want things to be hard, you're speaking in a negative sense. Allah started with the positive and then transitioned over to the negative. Why? Because Allah is assuming that you don't have a bad assumption about His intentions to begin with. Allah is only validating what you're thinking about Allah to begin with. Allah who loves me, who cares for me, who's protected me, who's guided me, who's provided for me, who's seen me through so many difficulties in life all this time, would never want hardship for me. He would want things that are the best for me. And Allah affirms that when He says He wants ease for you. He starts with the positive. But then there are some people who develop this thought about Allah in their hearts. Why is Allah making my life hard? Why does Allah want me to go through difficulty? Why doesn't He want things to be easy for me? And for them, for those people that have fallen into this negative mindset, Allah actually goes after the positive into the negative and says, no, I don't want difficulty for you. I don't want that for you. Notice also this is in line with the rhetorical transitions in the ayah. First Allah said, Qur'an is guidance for people. It's positive. But for the skeptic, there's clarifications. And for the one who thinks, how do we know this is not the word of a human being? That's also negative. He says, بَيِّنَاتِ مِنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ So he started with the positive, then he addressed the negative possibility. The same thing, he wants ease for you. We talked about that in the last session. And now, he doesn't want things to be hard for you. This is Allah Azza wa telling us, you know, something about what he intends for his slaves. And I'm reminded of this other ayah, remarkable ayah. He says he's not happy with the consequences of disbelief for his servants. He didn't just say he doesn't want his servants to disbelieve. He said, if they disbelieve, bad things are going to happen to them. And I don't want those bad things happening to them. Not min ibadihi, li ibadihi al kufr. The same thing here, Allah is essentially telling us that if you don't take this road, the road you think you're going to take that is easier is actually more difficult. It, that's actually more difficult. You're making things harder for yourself without realizing it. You see, Allah wants benefit for a human being in the long run. And human beings want benefit for themselves immediately. You, you love to get things quickly. I'll give you an analogy again to make this easy to understand. Putting a seed in the ground, watering the, 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 you know, the soil, taking care of it, making sure it's irrigated, making sure it's getting plenty of sun. For a farmer, that's hard work. That's a lot of work. At this, there's two brothers. One of them is supposed to work on his patch of land and the other was supposed to work on his patch of land. One says, I don't need to do any of this. I want life to be easy. I'm good. I have food right now. Why do I need to do this? And the other says, well, no, you're going to run out of food. Next year's harvest, we're going to need this. Just work on it. No, no, but you're just making things hard. It was making things hard for me. And one of them works on their farm and the other one doesn't. And the one who doesn't work on their farm is thinking in their head they're making their life easy. And the one who's working hard realizes they're avoiding difficulty that's coming down the road. And guess what happens? Allah says, I didn't want ease. I didn't want difficulty. I don't intend difficulty for you. The people who can do this little bit of hard work can save themselves so much trouble. And the ones who don't end up in so much trouble. So this is Allah coming at it from the negative standpoint and addressing those who really have this mindset about Allah. That why, why does Allah make things so hard? Why does He want to make me to pray five times? Why does He want me to fast 30 days? Why does He want me to stay away from, you know, can't eat this, can't do this, can't look at that? He's just making things harder and harder and harder. And what you don't realize is every one of those things, He's making things easier and easier and easier. Like fall into any one of those things and you see the consequences on your life. Last analogy, and hopefully, inshallah, that'll, that'll make this clear for all of us. Allah says in Surah Al-Isra, human beings demand evil things for them, harmful things for themselves. And as they're calling for them, they're convinced that that's the best thing for them. Allah says, 
They want the worst things for them and they're convinced that it's the best for them. And then at the end of that ayah says, and human beings have always been excessively in a hurry. Like they just want things quickly. Our desire of getting things quickly blinds us from the consequences of what we want. It blinds us. We, don't, we can't see past it. You know, We just want what we want and that's it. We don't want to hear anything. And as a result of that, the only thing we get for ourselves is more and more and more harm. A child wants the candy, doesn't want the medicine. Medicine tastes bad, candy tastes good. The candy's going to make things worse. The toothache's going to hurt more. It's, gonna, it's poisoned. He's killing himself, but he, he doesn't care. It tastes good. But, and the, the, the medicine tastes bad, but it, it'll, over time, it's not like you take the medicine and you're all better. No, it takes time for it to take effect, right? So I don't have the time for it to take effect. I need results right now. I need a quick thing right now. And as a result of that, human beings put themselves in difficulty. This ayah is teaching us something profound. Change doesn't come immediately. Ease doesn't come immediately. You have to go through a little bit of training, a little bit of rigorous change, and then Allah removes difficulty from your life. May Allah remove difficulty from all of our lives. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.